Hey everybody, what is going on? My name is Nick, this is Project Whoop, and you guys are whoopsies. Before we go any further, this build would not have been possible without my dad, who is awesome, amazing, and insanely skilled in woodcraft. Dad, thank you, and I love you very, very, very much. Next time, do move your butt out of the way so we can see what we're actually building. If you only care about the chair build, go to this, and make sure to watch the end of the video in case you want to build your own of what I would do different to improve it. I went from mounting my wheel on a desk to a Wheel Stand Pro G. Problem is that the Wheel Stand Pro G with the wheel in an office chair is not very good for long racing sessions. It's not the best position, and I know I needed to take more of a racing position. I started looking online at racing sim setups and the ones that I could afford kind of look flimsy. I wanted something sturdy especially since I have a wheel with force feedback. Once it starts shaking I didn't want everything to shake especially because I wanted to have a monitor up close to the wheel. I didn't want the monitor to shake like crazy every time the wheel was shaking so I needed something sturdy. I know Jimmy's setup is really amazing and yes I do watch Jimmy. I love his Nurburgring videos but his setup is a bit expensive. I looked into building it out of T-slotted aluminum or aluminium, but I've never messed around with any of that So I thought it might just be better for me to build it out of wood I want to mention that I have no idea how to do anything in 3d modeling I googled the program I watched a couple of tutorials and I built this the wheels the pedals and the racing seat were actually imported from a library So it made it a lot easier to build. I just sort of had to try to model the wood I showed it to my dad who by the way moved from Romania to America so his son could have a brighter future, a doctor, a lawyer. But instead he was designing a racing chair for me to play video games. I showed him the general idea and a few days later we had two pieces of plywood and three 2x4s. I do want to note that I did order a chair from Amazon and a set of rails because I wanted the chair to move forwards and back for adjustability. Sadly the chair had three problems. Number one, it was insanely scratchy. Whenever your skin would touch it, like you would just shiver. It was that nasty material. I think it's a racing chair that's meant for you to be in full rail racing gear that way you don't feel the chair number two um just about five foot eleven and the chair was quite small and tiny much smaller than the specs they mentioned online and number three the chair was insanely uncomfortable i ended up returning the racing seat but i still had to figure out what am i going to put in its place and i realized that a few months ago on this channel we built an office racing chair and after taking a look at my dad and taking the sides off we figured out that we could potentially build a small bracket out of some pieces of metal. Before we get started with the build I want to mention that a lot of it was improvised. I did have a rough idea of what I wanted to build and how I wanted to build it. However those measurements were based off of a chair that had the wrong measurements and now that we were going to use a much larger chair and taller chair and longer chair we kind of had to bulge up the build. At the end of the video I'll have the measurements for everything but do watch the last part of this video if you want to build your own because there are some things that I would do differently and I'll show you guys why. But for now, let's get started with the build. We started off with two pieces of plywood and three two by fours. The first thing we wanted to build was the bottom of it, the plywood two by four and plywood at the bottom. If you're wondering what this black thing is, I'm gonna get eventually some padding so it doesn't shake the whole house. We got to work with the first plywood. We cut another part and I am, I am helping. After some careful measuring, we had one base done. This would be the platform on which we build everything. We cut four pieces of two by four to length and with a little bit of glue, nails and screws, that's what's gonna hold it together. Ah, look at me helping. I decided to get busy with unboxing the monitor mount, which annoyed my dad and told me to get out of his way. So I had to move everything from there. Finally, my help was needed to put the other piece of plywood on top, which we cut the same as the bottom one. Put some nails in it just to hold it together before we put in the screws. And when I say we, flipped it around and put screws on the bottom one too. We laid the chair on top and brought the steering wheel to take some measurements of roughly how we're gonna do it. Even consider putting the top of the wheel stand Pro G as the wheel mount. That was kind of a stupid idea. So instead we just put it down, got myself in it and try to measure it that way. And then we're gonna go ahead and build this right side. Another cut from the plywood we had left over. Technically there's another cut, but I was blocking it. And with that, we have a draft of the right side. Match the height on the left side from 
from the other piece of plywood screwed it temporarily and put a plywood on top just so we can get a more realistic measurement of how we're going to do it and how it's going to be for comparison we even put in the wheel stand pro g just so we can get an idea of how we're building keep in mind we're improvising a lot here i was pretty happy with the height but now we have to do this weird cut here that would allow me to get in and out we came up with this design and yes i am helping this rounded square would give me more space while still having enough sturdiness you might notice some two by fours and a piece of plywood there i just used that to raise the chair to get the measurements so none of that is screwed in you haven't missed any steps next was the tabletop or wheel mount whatever you want to call it for the chair raise we decided to just raise it the height of a two by four and plywood on top of it when my camera decided to slowly slide down nonetheless this is the height that we figured we would raise it to the next problem was that we had four screws here and we had to mount it on these rails we got some basic metal sheet plate from home depot and drilled some holes and then tried to get a rough idea of where this would sit because all of this, we had no idea how to put it together. We did eventually figure out how to install them. Unfortunately, we had to install them upside down. This was the only way we could get a little bit of extra height and we were also a bit lazy. Just like we did with the bottom, we put two two by fours in the middle and we put it right where the base is with some extra glue and then we went to sleep. The next day, we decided to take some more measurements, but you can't really see any of it. Oh, hold on. There you can see a little bit of it and not anymore. Maybe here? Mm, nope. How about we just skip this part of the video? And here we are fin- oh, whoop, too far. My dad didn't really like this part of the table being all squared off, so he went ahead and cut it. So now now my racing sim it's more aerodynamic he also rounded off the corner a little bit so it's not as sharp glued everything and gave it screws made it a little cover for the chair raise used me as weight for his wood so it doesn't move some more glue and the base of the chair is ready for screws he then built a nice little cover in the front so you can't see the two by fours and then he started taking measurements to build one in the back so it looks nice this should be called my dad builds a racing sim not me he then used me as a weight again so we can cut wood after the back cover we were trying to figure out what would be the best way to install the shifter in the original design this is what i had in mind because i was using a larger chair and we had to extend it the shifter would be kind of that far so we put it on a ledge in the middle of the right wall the idea was to create support on both sides and that's how it would sit being held together by glue nails and screws then came a little bit of sanding which went straight in my eyes but uh, at least i'm helping right we're pretty close to finishing it and i realized that i needed something thicker here at the edge where i'm gonna put a monitor mount what if i end up with three monitors i'm pretty sure i'm gonna break that plywood what we did is cut a piece of two by four which would screw from the top and from the sides which my dad installed with a gap so he could put a ledge and that would give it a better look i'm telling you my dad's really talented with the top glued nailed screwed and a little bit more sanding we we sprayed it well my my dad sprayed it down we put it down for some final testing the chair first and finally i can help out my helping rights were revoked after some final testing to figure out where my pedals would sit screwed in a little stopper so my pedals don't run away and we were ready to move it to the gaming room which we did ta-da we installed the chair as my camera slowly started falling down we have chair adjustability installed the wheel pedals and trying to get a setup and a few days later here is where we're at i also stream racing and this is the microphone that i use so let me just move it out of the way this is the look of it with a 24 inch curved monitor the chair holds fine and just gotta have some hand sanitizer now with the whole covid happening the monitor is sitting on a 30 dollar monitor arm from amazon i wanted one that only adjusts backwards and forwards to reduce the shakiness and it works fine the pedals are in the same spot let me just get in here for a second yes i'm wearing pajamas don't judge me this is my view from sitting here got my pedals all the way at the end h pattern shifter to my right and i gotta put something here for my armrest it's okay for now but would like something a bit softer one of the things i was worried about is where i'm gonna put the keyboard but the keyboard is long enough to put it on my lap and then put it back whenever i'm racing so now that you watch me build and you have an idea let's talk about what i would do different and you can see right here that my knees kind of hit the bottom of the steering wheel mounts not always but if i even attempt heel toe shifting uh goodbye my knees 
they're gonna get very bruised up. It's not so bad on the left hand side. I can do left foot breaking, but sometimes I do tap it. I'd like to get a handbrake right here, and I'm not sure where I can mount it, but since this is all made out of wood, I'm sure I can just make up a ledge somewhere. What I would do differently is see the step here. Um, I would do it right here, and then I would do one more over here. And then, of course, I would have to raise up the tabletop, but that would give me so much more room for my feet. It wouldn't compromise the position too much. And of course, I could mount the pedals at whatever angle I would like them to. At the moment, I'm thinking if I should get a wide monitor, they're kind of expensive, or just to get two extra ones so I can have three of these. At the moment, just one is fine, though. I'm very happy racing with this. By far the most fun I've ever had in a project. Project and I don't regret it one bit. Racing is just so much fun. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comment section down below. I'll try my best to answer them and I'll have information in the description. I know some people want to do the same build that I've just done, so they were like waiting for me to post this video. If you love racing and you're kind of on the fence about getting and building a rig like this, just go for it. Like if you actually like racing, just go for it because this is, it changes everything. And if you're one of those people that are like, oh, if you want to do racing, just go buy a car and do it in real life uh yeah i don't have money for that and i'm doing this in pajamas